Hey, I'm DM Scotty. Welcome to my home. Um, I do have other interests besides torturing my poor uh, player characters. Um, I uh, like to do some painting and other crafts. And I wanted to show you an interesting room I've created in my home. Uh, follow me. Come on. I want to introduce you to my favorite guest room. Uh, it's, we call it the fairy tale room. And uh, let's enter. On this wall I have uh, my water maiden. Uh, this is a mural I painted. And I'll pan down so you can see it. She's dissolving into a pool of water. Um, I was really going for the old school fairy tale look. And um, what I did with these murals is I painted them on um, thin uh, board, um, like a plywood board. And that way I can remove them from the walls, remove them around if I like. My next mural is a fairly large mural. Um, like I said, I was really going for the old school look. Um, and, you know, with old school fairy tales, you know, they're not the Disney happy, happy tales. You know, uh, they're more complex and um, more interesting, in my opinion. And uh, the art uh, is, you know, more interesting. Um, also, um, you know, fairy tales, kind of like Galadriel said, fairy tales are beautiful and um, terrible like the morning and the night. So that's what I was kind of going for uh, with this mural. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. On this mural, I was going for a very old school witch. Um, not the standard witch that you see, you know, in every Halloween store. Um, so I gave her a huge bonnet and... A, uh, a, diff a strange proportion body. As we pan down, you can see she's captured a fairy and she's using it to light her way as she wanders through this field of nettles. And she's got a familiar with a quite demonic look in his eye. Now here's a piece I'm doing for the window. I haven't finished it yet, but it's going to be it's kind of a um, a cutout, and um, it will have like a stained glass coloring behind it. And it'll look like a wood uh, texture when I'm finished, but that kind of gives you the idea what it's going to look like. Here's another mural I did as a multi piece. Uh, you can see I've got a mirror in the mural, um, so I have a piece of the mural and then the mirror and then the the other pieces on top of it to cover the edge of the mirror so I'll move in so you can see the detail kind of going for the magic mirror and then her hair streams down and I've got a strange minion creature on the bottom there this dresser is a pride and joy of mine uh, it's a dresser I repurposed um, everything you see on the dresser has been painted, even the uh, wood detail. So I'm going to move up to the top so you can see the design. Uh, it's kind of arch with a star in the center. This was inspired by World of Warcraft. Um, so you'll see the uh, iconography on here. And as I move down to the first drawer, um, my uh, fiancé's character, Mundia. So she was a night elf, of course. And then you have the standard of the Night Elves. And I've got my character. His name was Sarantine. He was a hunter. So put those on the front. I also painted the dresser poles. So those were just wooden dresser poles that I painted myself. Uh, now on one side of the dresser, I have the flag for the Night Elves their banner and then I'll go to the other side and I have a storm saber so kinda neat so that's one piece I did and we'll move on to the center piece of the room So 
So here's the centerpiece of the room. It's a life-size tree um, that I've carved. And um, it has three shelves in it. It reaches all the way from the, from the floor to the ceiling. And I've got branches going up into the ceiling. I've also painted the leaves for the canopy of the tree. Uh, the same technique I used for the other murals. I just painted them leaves. So you can kind of see that there. And now I'll show you some more. Here's another corner of the room and um, uh, desk. Um, I didn't create this, but um, I had a cool uh, Middle Earth tapestry here I thought was really neat. Um, I didn't create this, but uh, I think it's really cool. I wanted to make it feel like a night sky in the room, and I put some uh, glow-in-the-dark stars on the ceiling, but I also added a moon figure, a uh, moon mural, so he looks down on you. And I've got some glow-in-the-dark paint on him also, so at night he will glow. So, kind of a neat effect. One last detail I have in the guest bedroom is a sleeping dragon rug, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, really fits in with the room. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour, and uh, I'll see you soon.